So what does this hoffle all have to do with? It has to do with these 18650 size batteries. They're the ones that go in these uh, cool tactical flashlights like the one I have here. So I needed a replacement battery for this, so I went to the battery store. It's an actual store that specializes in batteries. You know, the ones that you can't just get at Target or Walmart or the gas station. And I picked up this one here, and it works great, no problems. But it was actually, it was pretty expensive for a battery. So I thought, let me see if I can find a more affordable solution. Went online, and I actually ordered 20, that's right, two zero of these batteries. Um, you can see here, I'll zoom in on it later, but this is supposedly an ultrafire battery. Um, ultrafire makes uh, tactical flashlights similar to that and other accessories. Um, so, now I was kind of like, oh, I'm getting a great deal. But looking at the price, it's, it's most likely too good to be true. So I'm going to test and see if exactly how much capacity these have in them. So let me zoom in on this battery and show you what I got. And then on the side there, some of the basic information. And you'll notice here the, um, the 4,800 milliamps per hour. That is uh, some really good tech if it's real. But keep in mind the one I picked up at the, uh, well, it's called the officially uh, good battery from the battery store. This interstate battery, the green one I showed you earlier, this one only has 2,200 milliamps per hour. So we are dealing with more than double the capacity. And at a fraction of the price, hmm, don't know. And then here we go. It's you know I was talking about um, some of the selling points here on the back. Lithium ion. It is in fact rechargeable. Has a protection circuit. At least supposedly it has a protection circuit. Oh, and just to show you that this battery is brand new because it is, and it's fully charged. Um, I hooked it up to my multimeter, and you can see that right here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this in um, a housing that I'm going to show you in just a sec and use this to charge my phone, and we'll see just how much charge I can actually pull out of this thing here. Eh, see if we can get anywhere close to that 4,800, right? All right, and here it is. So this is going to look real bare bones because it is, and that's exactly what I want for this test. I didn't want any kind of um, bank that has any kind of like smart charging or anything any extra variables so this is about as simple as you can get and you'll see so it just has a simple shell there and then inside you have well there you are and as you can guess the battery will go in right there and then on the head portion of this you just have an input and an output and oh there's an LED but that's about as advanced as this thing gets alright so here is um, my phone one of my phones and this is the LG V20 and I'm showing you this not only to show you the current status of the battery there at 41%, but also that the health of the battery is in good condition, and you can see the max capacity and all those good specs there. So this will basically be the before, and I will then turn this off completely, shut it down, and then begin charging it with the battery that we're testing in this video. So, um, by the way, this app is that right there. So, credit to that app for allowing us to see this data in real time. Okay, so there's our before, and I will go ahead and turn off and start charging. And here we are after the battery stopped charging. All right, so probably nobody's surprised um, by those results. Uh, maybe you were surprised just how bad they were. Yeah, I wasn't even expecting it to be that low. But at least now you have a number um, to say, can you get anything out of these? Yes, it's just really, really bad. <laughs> and to anybody who's going to say, like, oh, you should have known. I mean, it's even spelt wrong. Well, for every one of these, there are many, many of these that are actually spelt correctly. But again, you can guess there's the performance, and this is no better. So, yep, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, and this is no exception.